A drill is a drill, right? Think again. We've had some fun with drills lately, and we're going to have more fun today. This particular set of drills is very inexpensive. It's used in our maintenance department for drilling with a hand drill or drilling holes that are not important, i.e. in our shipping department and so forth. In our last video, we used an inexpensive drill, and we put the point off center to see what would happen, and we found out that the drill would drill oversize. That's not much of a surprise. What we didn't focus on and what we're going to focus on today is really the quality of the drill set itself, the quality of the drill. This is a Morris drill, which is a high quality drill, certainly much more expensive than anything that's in this case. And we're gonna drill some holes that are quarter inch and see how accurately the inexpensive drill would drill and the expensive drill would drill. We're also gonna go back there with the reamer. We're gonna ream a hole that's 5 tenths undersized from 250, which is generally used for fitting a dowel pin. So let's go out back, let's have some fun. All right, so here we're checking our Morse drill and you can see that it's 250, which is what it's supposed to be. Check. And here's our reamer. Remember we want a reamer, it's gonna be 5 tenths undersized and that's 249 and a half, that's for dowel pins. Again, check. And we're gonna check it out here and we're looking at our B drill at 238. And there's the B drill. We just checked it there. It's a little bit undersized. That's 236, not 238 like it's supposed to be. And here's our pilot drill that we're going to use. And it really doesn't matter too much about the size. Here's our 250 drill, which is 248. So that's undersized by two thousands. All right, so we got our center drill in there. It looks like it's going backwards, but it's not. We just cranked up the speed a little bit, put a little cutting oil on there. I like to do that. You don't necessarily have to, but uh, I like to do that. Here's our pilot drill. We'll crank up the speed just a bit and go in there and punch a hole all the way. We're going to go all the way through with this hole because it, we could do a blind hole or if we chose to, but I put a little, little bit of tension on the spindle there. As you saw, I tightened it down just a little bit because the spindle on this machine tends to be just a bit loose. So here we put in our 250 drill. We're decreasing the speed a little bit. We're using the same technique all the way through for all each of these. I like to dump the chips, get them out of there. Not quite as critical, you know, when you're when you have a pilot hole. So here's our center drill for the next hole. And again, here's our pilot drill using the same pilot drill. Punch that baby all the way through. Keep putting a cutting oil on her, same technique. And again, because it's a pilot drill, it's really not too important about uh, getting the chip out of there, but uh, I like to do it in any case. Okay, so here we're putting in our A drill, but some of you are thinking, wait a minute, I thought you said you're gonna use a B drill. Well, we were gonna use a B drill, but check this out. Take a look here. We found out that, look at that, brand new right out of the box and it's bent. So we backed off of that, took it out, said that's not gonna work. So instead of the B drill, we grab the A drill instead, and lo and behold, it's bent as well. And again, this is brand new out of the box. So here we decided to go with the Morris drill, 15 64ths, and uh, we feel that we, we'd get a better hole with that. And that's got a little bit of wobble to it as well, but it's really not that bad. And it could be the way the uh, chuck grabbed it, who knows. But anyway, certainly not bent like the uh, inexpensive drills were. And here we're gonna go through and we're changing our speed here now from high gear to low gear. Slowed it down quite a little bit. If you look at the top of the picture, you can see the, the real diameter. The flutes kind of, when you're looking at the flutes, kind of gives you a, a false reading as to the speed. So again, I like to blow the chips out of there. I think you get a better hole when you're reaming. And now we're going to center drill and drill another hole for the purposes of using the inexpensive drill. All right, so here's our pilot drill. Again, it's out of the same case. This is an inexpensive drill. We're going to go all the way through. We're almost done there. And you can see, I, I like to, again, I like to use a little bit of cutting oil on a regular basis. Now here we're putting in our quarter inch drill that we used in the prior video. But remember the point was off center, so we had to take it over to our uh, drill sharpener, our point, drill point sharpener, and we sharpened it up, put a brand new point on it. All right, so we just finished it up. 
We got three holes. Let's go back up front and check it out and see what we got. So this is the block that we used in our last video. And you may recall we used this inexpensive drill out of the box. We came in here, we drilled our first hole, and we were surprised that it drilled eight thousandths oversize. We're using an eight thousandths pin, and it just is a nice slip fit in the hole. Then we put the point off center to see what would happen, and it drilled thirty thousandths oversize, actually thirty-two, thirty-three thousandths oversize. You can physically look at that hole and you can see with the naked eye that it's way oversized. So again, cheap drill, out of the box, 8 thousandths oversized, put the point off center, 30 thousandths oversized plus. So when we finished up with the drill back there, we took it over to our professional drill sharpener and we put a good point on it like it's designed to have. And we put it back in the box. So now we have the block that we just finished back there with the three holes that we put into it. So let's talk about the cheap drill first. So when we mic this drill out back, we found out that it was two thousandths undersized from 250. Now, when we drilled the hole in this new block with this drill with a proper point on it, we were surprised at the results that we ended up with. And we're gonna show you what we mean by that. This point, if you look at it closely, is completely different from the points on the whole set of drills, but more specifically different than what we had on this drill when it was brand new. If you take a look at our pin set here, which is, it goes up to 250, this hole is pretty darn straight using this inexpensive drill. That's 249, and just to prove it, there's 249, folks. So that's a 249 pin here, is a 250 pin. It won't go in the hole. What the heck is going on? How could the same drill drill eight thousandths oversize the other day, but now it drills a thousandths undersize? Well, to our surprise, it's all in the point. We will show you some of these drill points on this cheap set. They are all over the map. Let's take a look at these drills. This is a drill that we sharpened in our drill sharpener. This is one of the inexpensive ones. This is a 15 64ths, which is its neighbor. And if you look at that, the point on one side is totally different than the other. That is the draft and the point itself, which of course puts a point off center. And we said, you know, I wonder if any of these other drills are like that. Well, we started pulling some of the other drills and it didn't matter which one. Look at this one. The angle on this one is totally different than that one. So I don't know if, they, if they're hand sharpening these, which is my guess, or whether they have a machine that's set up that just is not right. But nonetheless, damn near every one of these drills, and it doesn't seem to matter what size you grab, the, the draft from one side to another is off. And if you, again, look at that and look at the one that's professionally sharpened in a drill sharpener, it's completely different. What we determined is that the point being sharpened accurately is really important to drilling the right size. So I'm shocked, frankly, that this cheap drill drilled within a thousands of its real size. Remember, it was actually two thousands undersize. This is 249. So how in the heck can it do that when it's with an inexpensive drill? Shows to go you, you don't want to buy a cheap set of drills unless you really look at them carefully. And if you're going to buy them, make sure that the points are resharpened professionally. And I think you get a better hole than you might think. But for real professionalism, man, you've got to go with a Morris drill or something that's absolutely accurate in size and the points are consistent. Now, you may recall we also reamed one of these holes. So we drilled one, which is this guy up front. And that's 249. Here's 250. And it's a nice slip fit. 
That's with a drill. This one we reamed and it won't go in because it's a half a thousandths undersize. And the 249 drill, or pin rather, goes in there as well. So here we have it, three separate holes. Inexpensive drill with a point properly sharpened. An expensive Morse drill right on size, as it should be. And a reamed hole, which ends up being five tenths undersize, as it should be. I think it's amazing that there's that much complexity and difference between an inexpensive drill and an expensive drill. Not something that I figured going into this video that it would drill just, it would drill on size closer than coming out of the box after we put a point on it and put a professional point on it. Again, remember the first one drilled 8 thousandths oversized, same drill with the point out of the drill set. Next time we put a professional point on it with our machine and we come in here and it's within a thousandths of the drill size, but still one thousandths undersize. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Keep an eye on Facebook, Twitter, etc. And thanks for watching again. Mm -hmm.